Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. We're going to start off the video on the peak of Mount Shan. So if you've played through Red Dead Redemption 2, then no doubt you have found the flying saucer that you can see here in the distance. There have been two UFOs discovered in the game so far, but I believe that a third is still out there. We're going to go to some mysterious unknown locations that may have that third UFO. I'm going to explain it in today's episode. Do me a huge favor, hit the like button. I also want to let you all know we're going to have a big live stream later on tonight. If you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know as soon as we go live. We're going to have a meetup in PlayStation Red Dead Online. Hopefully, I'll see you all there. So with that said, I'm going to show you guys the UFO on top of Mount Shan. It looks suspiciously like another UFO from a past Rockstar game. Let's get trippy. Huge shout out to YouTuber Finn Perp who posted this footage. He gets a close-up view with the binoculars. Now, I think you actually have to see the other UFO which is over near Emerald Station before this one will appear. But there it is, a UFO on top of Mount Shan. You can also see a UFO over Grand Theft Auto V's version of Mount Shan, but that one will only appear when you have 100% completion. You have to have rainy weather right at 3 o'clock a.m. to see the UFO. So you have to have those specific conditions. Who knows what the conditions could be for a third UFO in Red Dead Redemption 2. On top of Mount Shan, I believe it's a half moon at 2 o'clock a.m., but this one is a little bit more challenging with the 100% completion, the rain, and of course it has to be right at 3 o'clock a.m., and then the UFO will appear. You have to say, it does look a little bit like the one on top of Mount Shan, albeit, you know, a lot bigger. Notice the crescent moon above the cabin. That is very important, and also the same color that you just saw coming from the space docker, as well as another UFO, that green color, is going to be shined right down onto Arthur, from the abduction beam of this UFO. So it's way up there, we have to switch it up into first person mode. You can see it does have that similar shape of the flying saucers from Grand Theft Auto V. It's just gonna hover right above us. And if you read the note, it will talk about how you have to have that crescent moon. I feel like that is going to be a big deal in finding the third UFO. If we go to a location and see a crescent moon, that might mean that it is involved with the UFO mystery. So right here, it also talks about the 2000th year and that of course is linking up to the year 2000 more closer to grand theft auto 5. worship once again at the peak of mount shan so we found two ufos i do have a 100 percent file we're going to load up into that file and we will go to three locations where hopefully we can find the missing third ufo there it goes take us to your leader i loaded up the save file for 100 percent it started pouring as soon as I came in the cabin, but you can't get a better view. Notice all the skeletons. So we're going to be looking out for maybe rainy weather, a crescent moon, and perhaps dead bodies to show us that third UFO location. Now I'm thinking it might be in New Austin. Considering the other UFOs, you can only see when you have full 100%. Maybe it's a location that you can't see until the end of the game in New Austin with John Marston. You can find this lone X out in the desert, letting you know that there's somebody dead here. But there's actually multiple dead people, and you don't really get rewarded. You can loot one dead guy and get a small jewelry bag. But notice, it is a crescent moon. 1.30 a.m. We got the crescent moon. At 2 a.m., will a UFO appear right here with 100%? Let me know if you have any idea what is going on here. I'm not sure if they are, you know, maybe Chelonians. They have the same exact color blue as the Epsilon from Grand Theft Auto V. Look at that. I mean, what happened to them? It looks like they might somehow be related to that cabin. All right, it is now two o'clock a.m. Nothing is happening. The clouds are clearing up, but I'm not seeing any UFO. I recently found this spot and I was wondering, you know, is there something to collect here? But no, you just have a campsite, dead people, and that's about it. Unfortunately, no UFO even at 100%. I camped out here all night. The only thing I saw was a cougar that tried to eat me. But nothing happens here. We can't collect anything at this secret location. Remember that Arthur Morgan cannot get here. You can only get here when you finally turn into John Marston in the epilogue. Only to find absolutely nothing. Maybe a UFO will come here if it's raining. Maybe a thunderstorm. Let me know what you guys think. Here's another group of mysterious dead people. This time, not too far away from that original UFO cabin. It's pretty much right across. Now take a look at the moon. Once again, it is a crescent moon. We have the full 100% and just like the last location, 
You don't really get any reward for actually finding this spot. Let's get some Gorma Rum. And much like other seeker locations in the game, you know, they have a storyline. You can kind of figure out what happened there. But in this case, you got the dead guys. One dude has a crutch. You know, it looks like one of them has no legs. So I'm not sure if this is an Easter egg or what it's referencing, but either way, it's another location that remains unknown, you know, highly mysterious. I was thinking that maybe, just like the cabin not too far away, the UFO will appear. So it's almost 2 o'clock a.m. Again, it's not raining. I definitely think there might be a story to tell. I mean, one of them has a cross in his hand. He doesn't have any legs, but he does have the cross. Makes you think they might be religious or... You know, perhaps their religion is the aliens. I am noticing that the moon is changing up, so it's not really that perfect crescent. Although it's close enough, it is right at 2 o'clock a.m. Unfortunately, I cannot get anything to happen here, despite the fact that when I first found it, get out of here, Buell, you know, I thought that there might be something that we could trigger. There's one more location back in Mexico. I'm going to camp out here past 3, just to see if anything happens. Of course, we will investigate during an upcoming live stream as well. But I still think that the third UFO could be attached to one of these three locations. The third location for likely third UFO is Mexico. Now, many people hit me up saying, Trippy, do you think we'll ever get a Mexico DLC or expansion for Red Dead Redemption 2 as it was a huge part of Red Dead Redemption 1? I don't think so at this point, but finding a UFO flying somewhere in Mexico would definitely be epic. Now, there's one structure that we can still see here in Red Dead Redemption 2. It is this castle, which you can see across the river. So I was here right at 2. I stayed until 3. There was a crescent moon out, but I don't see anything happening. Again, maybe we have to have a thunderstorm just like in Grand Theft Auto V. You can find three hidden UFOs that you unlock with 100% in GTA V, but still only the first two here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe at this point, we can only find those two, but I still believe that a third might be out there. Let me know where you think it might be. Those are the three mysterious locations that I think we might be able to find a UFO at. Perhaps with 100%, we'll definitely be trying it out. You got one in Mexico. Of course, the two locations with the dead bodies that still go unknown. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Much love. Remember, we got a big live stream coming up later on tonight. We just got all the way to Gorma with John Marston. If you guys played the game, you know only Arthur is supposed to make it to Gorma. But we got there. And we have plenty to explore. So I hope to see you guys in the live stream. Don't forget to sub if you are new. Hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we go live. And also hit the like button. It really helps the video out. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay tuned. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?